We use a Humax HDR 1100S in our van to receive free SAT in Europe and the UK. If your hard drive has failed, or if you want to upgrade it to a larger size so you can record more programs, keep watching and I'll show you how easy it is. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing. Although it is an easy task, I take no responsibility for any problems caused by following these instructions. As you need to open the case, you will invalidate any warranty provided by Humax. Here's what you'll need. The one terabyte hard drive I used is linked in the video description. And other than that, just a couple of Phillips type screwdrivers should be all you need. Before we start, here you can see in the settings page that the capacity of the current drive is just under 500 gigs. Remember, if you have recordings on the current drive, you won't be able to watch them once you've taken it out of the box as they are coded to the box. First, we've got to remove the case to access the hard drive. This is pretty easy, starting with a single screw at the back under the warranty void sticker. Then, on the underneath of the box, there are five plastic clips that you need to release by gently pushing your screwdriver into these five slots, and the case can then gently be opened. Now that we're inside the box and some of the contents may be sensitive to static electricity built up on you, if you have one make sure you've connected your earthing strap. If you haven't, it's best to discharge any static build up on you by touching something that is earthed. We can now remove the hard drive. To start with there are four screws under the box, some of which are under warranty stickers. Then finally, a screwed retaining clip inside the box. The drive can then be gently slid forward and removed. Fitting the new drive is the reverse of removing the old one. Slide it gently into position, it's showing all the connections are made. Then screw down the retaining clip. And replace the four screws from the bottom. Then simply clip the case back together and replace the rear retaining screw. When the box is plugged in for the first time with a brand new drive, the box should format itself. And it will be ready to go once this is completed. If you've used the drive that is already formatted and has some data on it, to access the full capacity you may need to go into the settings menu and format the drive. I did forget to take a picture of the capacity before I started using the box, but here you can see it's just below 1 terabyte. I hope that has been useful. If you're interested in travel, adventure, camper vans and van life, you might enjoy some of the other videos. So check out our channel and hit the subscribe button.